Hey folks, it's Andrea Bassett here from Force Meat Academy, and today I want to talk to you about liver pate and grit. Have you ever made chicken liver pate or pork liver pate or beef liver pate, and then you go to eat some, Ugh. and it's gritty. Has that happened to you? Okay, well that's happened to me. And there are generally three reasons for this and three fixes. So that's what I'll talk about today. And on a side note, I did figure out my audio problem, but I haven't fixed it. So that's why I'm doing a super close up video today. All right. So the first reason your chicken liver pate is gritty or grainy is because it's overcooked right and so you don't want to do that but then you don't want to make it undercooked or else it'll taste too livery so a lot of people will on the stovetop they'll fry up the liver and then deglaze the pan with the wine but instead of doing that what you can do is fry up your ar aromatics or your spices then deglaze the pan with your wine or stock or whatever you're using and then put your liver in there and slightly poach the liver for a couple minutes until it's just pink in the middle so that is the gentler way of cooking it um, which makes it easier to not overcook it all right the second reason your pate could be too grainy is because you didn't strain it. Yes, now this does sound like a terrible extra step. Oh, I gotta strain this pate. But let me show you this. See this liver pate? Look, woo! Look at this. Now, this is very, very smooth. Oh my god, there's no grittiness right there. This batch is a little salty, but still tasty. Um, so to get that smooth, smooth texture, I always strain my pate. Um, so previously, oh, where is it? It's here. I'd use like this tiny, tiny, cheap, terrible strainer. And it worked just fine, but, oops, sorry about this. Hold on, hold on. But I recently splurged and got this strainer. So it's kind of big like this. Uh, it's solid. It's all stainless steel. So unlike this thing, which is starting to rust around the edge, this should not rust. And I could do like a big batch of liver over a bowl instead of this one. But even this terrible one works well. So strain your pate. It really only takes a minute, especially if you have a proper size strainer. And the third reason your pate is too grainy is because there's not enough fat. So if you're like me, you m might not, if you're like me, you won't, you don't even like liver. I don't really even like liver. I made a meatloaf. I put some liver in it the other day. Not that great. My husband likes it, so that's good. So, but the secret to enjoying pate, even to salty pate like this, is the butter ratio, the butter to liver ratio. So a good rule of thumb, you'll find recipes that generally call for like 400 or 450 grams of liver, which is like a pound of liver, 454 grams and about 300 grams of butter. That's a good ratio to give you like a really smooth and creamy, not too livery liver pat, chicken liver pate. Now, if you have a recipe that is measuring the amount of butter you're using in tablespoons, that is a clue that this recipe 
is under delivering on your butter quota. So put that aside and go find one that's more like 400 grams to 300 grams. Now I have been experimenting lately. Um, this one is about one to one ratio. Um, I did put too much wine in there so um, and salt. So it's like a little too whiny and too salty, but that's not the butter's fault. Um, but recently I did this with a pork liver pate, you know, one part pork liver, one part butter, and then some, uh, I think I used orange juice instead of wine for that one. And, and that's a great, that's a great ratio, very smooth, soft and creamy. All right. So there you have it. Those are the three reasons that your pate gets gritty and three ways to have pate that's not gritty. So I hope this helps. Uh, if you like this video, please click like below. That would be really nice. And if you want to hear more of these videos, please subscribe. And if you want more details on Gritty Pate, then head on over to my website where I have a whole big long article about this very topic. I'll link that down below. And that's all for now. May your pate be as smooth as this one, but not as salty. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye.